Michael, you guys came out of halftime down just 10. Uh, the game seemed to flip in those first few minutes. What did you see to start the second half when obviously they seized momentum and kind of carried that to the end? Uh, I saw one team that uh, wanted to be here and play with a purpose and urgency uh, and one team that did not want to be here uh, and play with no urgency. Uh, and that's why we got our ass kicked. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, Coach, when they're sinking as much as they did defensively tonight, what can you do to counter that, especially when you aren't hitting shots from deep? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'll have to watch the film. We had a lot of guys play really bad tonight. Uh, and then we allowed the, the, the impact of not making a shot to affect uh, the other end. And it was really, I mean, playoff basketball. Can you sit down and guard one-on-one? -on -one? Um, it was, this, this was just an embarrassing performance uh, all the way around from top to bottom. Jacob Toby, Nine News Denver. Coach, um, did, was there anything with Michael that, that you talked about with the back or anything? I mean, how's he feeling after? And did, did he look right to you out there tonight? Back is fine. Mark Kisla, Denver Post. Hey, Coach. Uh, Will Barton gave you a little jolt early. Um, I know you're on minutes restrictions. Uh, what more can you? How much more can you utilize Will going forward? Yeah, you know that was um, probably the, the the only silver lining to a really rough night all the way around. Kiz uh, was Will Barton. Uh, who hasn't played in over seven weeks in this first game, goes out there, gives you 10 and three, uh, and gave us a, a bolt of energy in that first half. Makes a three, blocks the shot. Um, and he hated me when I took him out because they reached his minute restriction. And I understand that. Uh, I just told our players, uh, it's embarrassing that a guy that hasn't been able to play for seven weeks um, was out there leaving it all on the line. And I don't think anybody else did. Uh, this was an embarrassing performance um, from myself all the way through the last player. You know, uh, we're walking out of here with our heads uh, held down, rightfully so. And there's a reason that their crowd is yelling sons in four and they're calling for a sweep because if we play like this back in Denver, uh, this is going to be a really quick series. Ashley Neville, Mile High Sports. Hey, Coach. Chris Paul had 15 assists and zero turnovers tonight. I know that, you know, as you mentioned before, that you coached him in the past and what he brings to the game. But um, what, what are you seeing from him? And, and why isn't he able to ever be stopped? Well, yeah, he's a, he's a great player. Uh, he's one of the greatest to ever do it at that position. Um, I think game one, he had 11 assists, only one turnover. Uh, so obviously, Chris Paul doesn't see us. He doesn't feel us. Uh, and we're not impacting what he's trying to do in any way, shape, or form, Ashley. Um, and I think you could say that pretty much for the Phoenix Suns roster. Uh, they've had their way with us uh, on both ends of the court. I felt we quit tonight, uh, which is something you never want to see. Um, so I, I guess for game three, I'm just going to try to find guys that will at least go out there and leave it all on the line. I may have a hard time coming up with five guys that fill that, but um, – these two games, these second halves uh, have really been disappointing, and that's an understatement. Brandon Cristal, KOA Denver. Coach, with uh, so many things frustrating you, and understandably so, do you focus more on the emotional energy, that type of stuff, or more X's and O's over the next, you know, 45 hours or whatever? Yeah, you know, I think it's probably a combination, you know, uh, you always have to look at the X's and O's side of it, you know, what we're not doing well, uh, why we continue to make some of the same mistakes over and over and over, uh, which is beyond me. Uh, when you spent three days leading up to game one, uh, you spent all day yesterday and this morning going into game two, and guys seem to uh, have a really hard time understanding what they're supposed to be doing uh, and, and doing things that we've done before. So it's not like it's something new. Uh, but then, you, the, you, as you mentioned, there's also the emotional side of it uh, and the intangibles. Um, you know, literally, I, I saw guys say, I'm not making shots tonight. I'm just going to walk around and mope. 
and my body language is going to be poor. Uh, and I felt that was the five guys on the court. That was the 12 guys on the, on the sideline. Uh, we, we had no juice, no energy, no passion, no fight, no urgency, no grit. Come up with whatever adjective you want to use. We did not have it. And you can't use they were going home for game three as you something you can rely upon. We have a great crowd, but if we play like this, they're going to boo us off the court, and rightfully so. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thank you, Coach.